Hey everyone, welcome. Does this look familiar to you? I've been using multiple generations of bike stands just like that and they've been quite flimsy and I feel that especially when working on my tall boy and it's not even a heavy bike. So one day I said, enough. And I ended up with this. Feedback Sports Pro Mechanic HD. Let's take a closer look at this and see if it's a worthy upgrade to what I had so far. But this is not my first ever feedback product because I've been using this tiny scale for quite a while. You guys have seen it in quite a few of my videos. Highly, highly recommend it. Early impressions of the Pro Mechanic HD are really good, but let's see what I got in the box. A picture of it, fully extended, and the way I assume is in the box. And on this side, you can see some of the features of the stand, but we'll talk about that later. This guy can hold up up to 100 pounds, so e-bikes up to 45 kilograms, no problem. More information about this on their YouTube channel, that first QR code, or use the second QR code to get to small parts and things like that. Like all their products, this is designed in Golden, Colorado, made in Taiwan, three years warranty, and kudos to them for using 80% recycled materials. And if you put down the box like this, you can actually open it up. Just take it out of the box. And this should be ready to go in no time. And what's the first impression? Well, this looks quality, feels quality, and feels solid ever since you take it out of the box. Nice solid pieces of metal everywhere. As for installation, you can see it here on that linked video. Use that bottom quick release to fully extend the tripod, then extend the mast to your desired height. And finally, lock that bike jaw arm into position. Interestingly, there is no printed paper, user manual or anything like that. So they fully rely on that short video and most importantly this QR code that takes you to the small parts where you can find pretty much all the components of the bike stand. What I didn't realize is that Feedback has quite a few bike stands but I did go for the HD because I wanted the sturdiest one they have. In this comparison table you can see that this guy can withstand up to a hundred pound e-bikes which is not a bike that I have right now but just in case. Not only that the bike stand looks pro and feels pro, but I was quite surprised by the construction. Nice rubber boots at the end of the three legs. You can see that tripod quite big to provide that stable base. And you have the easy to operate QRs. They seem quality, they look to be quality. Stickers everywhere, oversized mast as well, and again, QR here in the middle, you use this to adjust the height. If that QR doesn't hold, it's very easy to actually adjust it. This is a four millimeter Allen key and just tighten it right on the spot. You come to the top, what's pretty impressive is definitely what they call the clutch that holds this head. You can see it loosened up and now I can rotate it very, very easily. It doesn't get stuck in any way. You just tighten it up back into the whatever position you're interested in. Here you're gonna have that quick release. The jaws open quite a bit and this is a ratchet mechanism. Just listen, okay? So you would push this as close as it gets and then fine tune it for the best grip for your seat tube or whatever you put in the jaws. To open it, you just press on the quick release and it comes right out. It opens up quite a bit, I think it's over six centimeters and these rubber pads can be replaced. Here on the side, you have a magnet, which is quite strong, strong enough to hold my favorite hex wrench and here is a mast extension you'll see in a second what that's good for obviously if you just want to hang your bike by the seat you can do that but there is no rubbery surface here so this might get scratched by the way this is a round tube so if you're wondering about the whole stand rotating with the bike in it i can yank on the bike as much as i want it doesn't seem to move at all that's pretty cool isn't it 
By the way, as I always do, I ask Feedback Sports for a discount code for you guys, my followers, and they provided it to me. So look at the description of this video if you wanna buy any of their products. Now, did I repeat my flimsiness test that I started the video with? Of course I did. It's the same toll boy on the new Feedback Pro Mechanic HD bike stand. It definitely feels more stable in my hands. What do you guys think? As you notice from my unboxing, there is nothing else in the box, so there's no accessories included with it. And on their website, you're gonna find a couple of things. Unfortunately, the tray that you see on their website is not yet compatible with this model. I hope it's gonna be soon, but there's one accessory that got me really excited. And I'm talking about this pro truing stand, and you can see it here all by itself. This is actually not just a wheel truing stand, it's also a rotor truing stand, which I think is very valuable out in the field. But this can also be installed at the top of the bike stand. Remember that mast extension that I mentioned earlier? So look at this. Isn't this the most portable solution out there? In the included user manual, you're gonna get all the information you need just to get this going and it is pretty simple. You have that solid steel base. You have this mast attached to it. Here's the wheel indicator and the wheel round indicator that's also used for rotors. And then the new version two wheel axle and they can take up to 157 millimeters. So that's downhill 10, 20 millimeter through axles. And you can see it here with the 29er wheel installed on it. Swing this up, line it up with your rotor. Look at that, very easy to see if your rotor is out of true, much better than trying to do it on the bike. You have two point, almost 2.5 millimeters here between these guides. So you can use this for two, 2.3 millimeter rotors. Obviously for wheel trolling, you are just gonna slide that indicator down to the rim. And here it is, this becomes a very versatile tool that I can pretty much take with me everywhere we travel. You saw how the truing stand disconnects from the actual bike stand. The bike stand folds together nicely and it's only eight kilograms. So quite portable solution. I'm really happy about this season having all these tools with me. So what do you guys think? What kind of bike stand do you use? Do you use the red or the blue? If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget that you have a discount code you can take advantage of. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers guys, cheers.